A funny story about the Wonder Bag is um, we always make yogurt, and when we make yogurt, um, well, it's like, well, the culture is growing or whatever. You, we wrap it up in a blanket overnight, um, which is not the smartest idea because if there's just a random blanket on the table and you're cold and it's winter, what do you do? You grab the blanket. We've had several occasions of half milk, half yogurt splattering everywhere. Not fun. So now with a wonder bag, no one will be mistaking it for a nice cozy blanket they can sleep under, which is great. Hello, me fellow human beings. <sighs> so first off, excuse the mess of my art room. It is Christmas time. I do not have the headspace to clean it. So what do I do? I add plants to make my frame and shot pretty. Um, so I'm going to be showing how you make a wonder bag. Now, you might ask, what is a wonder bag? Well, I am glad you asked. I shall tell you what a wonder bag is. A wonder bag is a bag that is wonderfully good at cooking. So basically, it is a very insulating bag. So if you are cooking something on the stove and it's very hot and it's something that has to cook for like ages, you take it, you put it in the bag and it just keeps all the warmth inside and it carries on cooking. So we do that for rice. We have rice, we boil it for like a couple minutes and then you put it in the bag and it cooks properly. So this obviously saves gas, electricity, which is like amazing. And obviously more sustainable, not to use so much gas and electricity when cooking. And this project itself I've made from recycled materials and stuff that I had lying around. So it's also made sustainably. Um, and it is sustainable. So I think it's the classic zero waste DIY. That's slightly more interesting. Because I'm sure if you go googling zero waste DIYs, you've seen the classic beeswax wrap or all the classic ones. So this one I hope is slightly different. <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and even better, comment. And if you want to see more of this fabulous face, then please subscribe. It would really mean a lot. So wonder bags are really useful. They can be used for cooking, or the alternative is a cap basket. So to begin the wonder bag, you have to decide if you want the outside to be patchwork and want to torture yourself, or if you want to take the simple, smart route and not do patchwork. Regardless, patchwork slightly more sustainable in quotation marks because you are using small pieces of scrap fabric theoretically and it looks very pretty but it does take forever so that is also your choice so to begin you want your little pieces of patchwork i would recommend making the patches really large because that's a lot less work <laughs> and sew them together until you have a big piece of patchwork Once you have your big square or big piece of patchwork, what you want to do is you want to cut a circle with the radius of 51 centimeters. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, that is totally your choice, but I decided to go with 51 centimeters. Then you want to cut out a, another piece of fabric. I decided not to do patchwork for the inside because I <laughs> had too much work. So the inside I just used a normal piece of fabric and I cut out the same circle of 51 centimeter radius. Place the pieces on top of each other and then find its center. Using a water erasable pen, I used a plate and did a big circle that was roughly 28 centimeters. Then you want to divide the circle into eight pieces. I do a lot of sewing so I have a lot of scrap fabric and little pieces of fabric that I can't really use. So what I decide, I decide to use that for stuffing. 
if you have, let's say, old clothing that is like worn down to the bone type of thing that you can't actually wear it anymore and no one else could wear it because it's so old, you can use that. So what you want to do is get a great movie and, or series because it's going to take a while and chop up that fabric into little tiny pieces to use as stuffing. Once you have all your stuffing, it is time to stuff. Start by stuffing the inner circle. You want to stuff this really firm so that it's not wobbly when you put the pots inside. Once that is stuffed, you want to sew that closed. Then it's time to stuff the sides. You don't want to stuff this too firmly, it must be slightly floppy still. Once it's stuffed, you must then seal up the sides. Then for the drawstring, what you'll need to do is get a long piece of fabric that is three meters, I know that's really long, right? Three meters long and 15 centimeters wide. Then take that over to your iron and iron it in half and then fold each end in so it looks like this. Once you've got this little neat tube, you want to pin it around the entire roundness of your wonder bag. <laughs> then stitch a straight stitch along the edge, securing it in place. Getting a big old safety pin and some ribbon, you want to thread it through that tube all the way around the wonder bag. Then using one of these uh, thingy mobs that you use to tighten stuff, um, thread each end of the ribbon through and tie a knot. This way you can draw it in. And then that's it, it's all done. It's really quite a simple sewing project, even though it takes a while, but it is, the theory of it is very simple. So I gave this to my mother for her birthday and she is quite fond of it. Well, I hope she is, maybe she's just lying to me, but she says she's quite fond of it. Thank you so much for watching this video and a reminder if you liked it please do give it a like and maybe comment if uh, you have time. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. <laughs> Bye!